Hi, I'm Wes Allen. This is my review of Crash Bandicoot Racing. Get the app started here. As you might expect, it's a driving game. It is played in landscape mode. Here you see the opening menu, different options. You swipe to get through the different options, which is really nice. Uh, quick race will do exactly what it says, get you to a quick race. Start game will show you the different modes. You can change options for strength of your uh, accelerometer and also your sound. You can keep track of records, and the help system is actually pretty good on here, so I recommend that you read it if you want to. And about and quit are self-explanatory. We're going to go to start game. Here you have a series of cups to go through, but you don't swipe to make the cups go from, uh, from cup to cup. You actually have to press the arrow there, which is a little unintuitive once you get used to the swiping on the multi-touch interface for the iPod or the, uh, the iPhone. You do have a series of characters to unlock. If you're familiar with the with the Crash Bandicoot franchise, you'll probably recognize a lot of these a lot of these characters. Drifting is really difficult, and steering is intuitive but really hard. If you ever played one of your card games on Nintendo, like Mario Kart or anything like that, uh, when you turn and you stop turning, it'll straighten itself out, just like when you're driving a regular car. Because you're using the iPhone or the iPod Touch as your steering wheel, um, it doesn't have that snapback feature. So you have to remember to straighten yourself out when you turn, which makes drifting uh, a little bit difficult. Drifting is done by tapping in one of the upper corners. You can do it on the left or the right side, and it'll make you jump if you just hold it straight. Uh, and if you hold down in the upper corner and twist at the same time, you end up drifting. And this is good for getting around tight turns, just like in any other kart racing game. Uh, you have your different weapons when you hit the boxes, and they show up down in the lower right-hand corner. And you just press the button, and it fires it off, just like I just did. And that's just a quick introduction to Crash Bandicoot Racing. The gameplay is entertaining, and if you're interested in just in spending $10 for a game, this isn't a bad one to pick up.